Yeah, can miracle happen now? Yes, absolutely. First of all, this child was prophesied to come, um, and actually, Brother Dominique uh, uh, prophesied sure? about this boy that he was going to be born to me, that I was going to have a son, and that it was going to be later in my life. And I'm now 42, and actually 43 now. I forgot how old I am. And I had the baby at 42. And um, actually, he also prophesied that it was going to be a miracle boy, a miracle baby. And I didn't really know what that meant. But at the time... How many years uh -huh. did you have other ch uh, children? I have? had no... Okay, yeah. This is yeah. definitely a miracle boy because my daughter is now 10 years old. And I didn't have any children at all up until the birth of this boy. So there was, you know, he was the one. And then later, um, when when he was inside my womb, uh, I was diagnosed with metal, melanoma cancer. And um, they basically told me that they could not wait for me to carry him to full term, that they needed to take the melanoma out of my body because it was at level four, which means that the cancer could be spreading systemically throughout my entire body wow. and so they said that it was very important because the cells are reproducing at a very quick pace when you're pregnant accelerated and so they were afraid the cancer was going to accelerate in my body so I did research and I found out that it's very dangerous for a mother to go into surgery when her baby is in the first trimester which he was at the time in the first trimester. He was only three months old in my belly, in my womb. And um, they said that he could, there was a lot of possibilities. He could be just spontaneously aborted. It could, he could just be completely taken out, rejected. I could go into labor prematurely, and he could be killed. Or the other thing is, is that um, he could have, like, um, birth defects or things like that. So did they give you any option to abort this child? Is that coming to play? No, or? no, they didn't tell me to no because right, they knew good, I wanted to good. keep I wanted to keep my baby yeah, no matter okay. what. And actually I was trying to push them to delay the the surgery. Praise but God. they didn't want to let me delay it. They were insisting. Mm -hmm. And so finally for me and of course yourself, which was the most important prayer of all. And it was a miracle because I was coming back from the doctor's office after he told me that I probably had this throughout my system, it was very likely, and I was feeling really desperate, and, and I felt almost abandoned by God for a minute. You know, I was oh thinking, my oh my God. gosh. That happens, right. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that I might be abandoned by God, but then Dominic called at that precise moment of despair when I was in the parking lot. I just left out of the doctor's office. Wow. And Dominic called and said, don't despair the Lord told me to call you right now and tell you that he has already burned every cell of cancer in your body you're not gonna die the baby will be fine and he told me this out of the blue nobody told him no he, he didn't know I was going to the doctor absolutely, that day absolutely. he didn't know anything the Holy Spirit spoke to him and told him to call me and so once he said that I felt really relieved and I knew God was still with me and he did not abandon me, which is silly. I shouldn't think that way because scripture says he it is happens. always. It but happens, right. it's scary when that stuff happens. And then, sure enough, mm -hmm. um, with all the prayer of Brother Dominique Full Baby, mm -hmm. just, just, just was okay. born mm -hmm. to me without any problems, no birth defects. <laughs> I had He's the surgery. Amazing, huh? The very moment I woke up from the surgery, I knew God had protected my baby yeah. mm -hmm. because... Um, I saw a cross on the ceiling, on the, on the wall, not the ceiling, excuse me, but I was just sleeping and I saw the cross and it I, was the first thing that came into view as I was coming to and I knew that God was telling me my baby was okay. So I knew it and, the, and I was praising him and the doctors and nurses were saying, we don't know if he still has a heartbeat, just wait. <laughs> and I said, I know. That's right. And then they did take his heartbeat, they found his heartbeat and he ended up being born perfectly healthy. And on top of that, after they took the sample, because they had to take a lot of skin out because they thought it was deep. Can I, can I see the skin? Yes. Oh, you, you can, can see, see the mark. The yeah. scar. The scar is still there. Yeah. Yeah. And Praise you, Jesus. Yes. And it was a lot of skin that they removed because they were wanted to make sure they got all of the tissue that could have been infected with the cancer. Right. And then on top of that, they took, uh, there's another scar underneath. 
for the sentinel lymph node because they were wanted to make oh, sure it didn't go into my whole system through my lymph nodes. Yeah, right. And they said they couldn't find one cell of Praise cancer. Jesus. Not one Thank cell you. was found. Is it was gone. Was amazed? My husband was amazed. But this is absolutely a miracle. I really say because of this child, you know, Sharab's and Ricky's marriage was really galvanized. And they're really doing wonderful. I'm so amazed. I'm I'm still, you know, I'm so happy to be with you guys because I know God has really done this. He thought about this way before the foundation of the world. It is nothing about Dominic. It's all about the glory of Christ. People need to see that. I mean, you know, he's using people as an instrument. That's all. Let, let's give the Lord the glory because Amen. Christ, Amen. He Amen. was, He is, and He's to come. He is the only Almighty. People, I wanted to challenge, you know. Amen. There's nothing impossible if you believe. Amen. All things are possible. There was a time Ricky laughed. It's okay. Sarah laughed. I don't blame her. And you know, like because, you know, this child, after many years, I think 10 years apart, I don't know. It was almost, it was not. Almost, see, you know, they had a daughter years, before this. Years. So like, you know, yeah, yeah. somebody eight, comes eight and, and tells, nine. you know, I came and prophesied and said, you know, I saw that this child is, a boy is running around. Mm -hmm. and, and she said, oh, here it comes, you know, <laughs> another prophet, whoever, you know, he is, what is he saying? She laughed. But you know, after the Lord started working in their life, uh, I, I think after three years, I see this great miracle of this, this handsome child. Boy. Very handsome. Uh, but you know, I see the inner beauty of this child. I could really see he's anointed already. And, you know, this child is the greatest treasure. Uh, throw down with to you both. And I really see this child is going to be a great blessing to so many people. Yes. And therefore, yes. you know, there is so much responsibility as of now for both of you to cultivate these little saplings, yeah. both the children mm. that the Lord gave. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we don't, we don't know how far this can go, how much forest is in this child. You know, this is just a sapling. Yeah. Remember, every seed, nobody knew it has a forest mm. until yeah. it has been mm. cultivated. Mm. And it's really, yeah, right? You know, it has to be a tree. Yeah. From the tree, the seed will never die. Say that word. The, the seed, seed will the promised will seed of Christ will never die. Yes. Until it, never die. it bears its fruit. In season, yeah. out of season. Mm -hmm. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God. Yeah, that yes. was amazing. And, and I thank God once again for all what He is and what he's going to do for us, and he's already doing mighty great things. Normally at this time he's very cranky. I was telling Dominique that normally, I'm even surprised he's playing and just happy because when Dominique isn't here at this time, it's almost 9 o'clock at night. Normally he's exhausted, whiny, crying, screaming if he's not in bed by 8. So, and here he is laughing. He's teaasing Dominic. He's going, no, no, high five, no. He's having fun with him. Look at him. He's playing. No, no, he's a no, no. He's a no, 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 high five, no. So he's just having fun, and that's so unusual at this time for this boy, Praise but God. it's the Holy Spirit, the presence of the Holy Spirit in here, Praise and Jesus. he's very happy, and, and yeah, and can I, can I say another thing about the, about the cancer, that they didn't find any in my body at all, Praise you, Jesus. and Amen. not one single cell, Thank you, and it was funny because my whole family, which we're still praying for, and we know is in God's hands, but they knew they the not, prophecy, yeah, okay, Mm -hmm. And they knew the outcome. Mm -hmm. And so um, there's people now who are listening to this video. And please, I just ask, I know it's hard sometimes if it's a family member because I don't know why, but we're stubborn with our own family and we don't want to listen or hear about mm -hmm. anything they want to teach us or know, tell us. But, you know, honestly, you know, for those of you who are out there, please, if you're hearing this right now, this miracle, give your heart to the Lord because Praise now God. is the yes. time. Yes. Because the time. this is really, really true. This happened. And please don't harden your hearts because what he did for me and my family, he can do for you. Thank you, family. Lord. Amen. That is yeah. the word.
That is the word. That is the word. That is the word. You know, again, I wanted to really assess this, you know. Yeah. You know, I really wanted to, you know, tell everyone, you know, this is, again, you know, the Lord ordained this. And, you know, Ricky, you know, has a very strong Jewish background. She, she's American. You know, that I want to, you know, I want to readdress that, you know. And again, you know, uh, Shraf was from Iran. Okay, wild combination and how Christ in their life can bring something great and awesome. So it is a challenge. You know, you may be anybody watching. You may be any religion. You may be have no religion. But you know, Christ, He wants to challenge every one of you. And you know, if you surrender, and you can see great and mighty things. He's greater than Solomon, and he's challenging people. In John chapter 14, verse 12, and keep reading, greater things you can do in this world because he has already reached the highest heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father, and praying for all of you guys. So whatever your needs are, this is an example, cancer free, and so many other miracles, you know, uh, it's so many great, great things, so many miracles, pneumonia, so many great things happen to both of them, countless, and the final is this child, a blessed child, and you know, what else God cannot do? So, you know, if you faithfully believe, all, they say everybody, all things are possible to those who believe in Jesus Christ and His salvation, whatever He has done to this world. Because what He has done, He's finished on the cross, and He could be able to do this for you and me. No matter whatever is your situation, God is going to pull you out of it, through it, and you know, no more break-ins, no more breakouts, only breakthroughs in Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.